and welcome, and welcome to what's a great show for me. Uh, but first, OK, every year, Toyota, which, as we know, makes uh, everything from Formula One cars to big desert-bashing off-roaders for the United Nations, says to its engineers, have a couple of weeks off. Let your mind roam free. Go mad. Let's see what you come up with. And what they've come up with this year is, as I've been finding out, amazing. To get to this new car, I had to go to Toyota City, which is a whole city owned by Toyota. Imagine Birmingham, but full of Toyotas. The car was held here, in their brand new Fortress of Excellence headquarters. So things were looking good. Right, uh, here it is. And there's no getting away from it. What we have here is a chair. It is quite a special chair, though. They have said I can drive it today here in this room, but they are quite nervous. Put it this way, this is usually an office full of people and desks. It's called the iRail, and Toyota are hailing it as the future of personal transportation. Before I drove it, though, I was taken to meet its inventor. He explained the concept and the philosophy. And then he waited for me to ask a question. Trouble is, it's a while since Top Gear has done a grown-up interview. Will you make a big one for fat people? Interview over, I was briefed on how to use the toggles that control the throttle, the steering and the brakes. Wow, that's the horn. And then I was off. They are very polite people, so I'm saying this quietly. We have had something similar in the UK for some time. It's called a wheelchair. However, when no one was looking, I left the room and discovered that it was so much more than a wheelchair. In this mode, for example, the electric motors are trolleying me along at walking pace. But if I want to go faster, I just press this button, and then it drops down into sleek aerodynamic mode. Top speed then, 20 mile an hour. Now, most creations like this are built just to get some coverage at motor shows. But Toyota aims to put the iReel on sale in 2010 for around 2,000 pounds. The plan is that we'll be using them for short journeys around town. And don't think OAP mobility scooter Hip young things will forsake walking entirely and cruise around in these at night, downloading tunes to their iPod from their iReel. And these machines can talk to each other too. Say I want a coffee. Well, I can tell the machine, coffee. It'll then find the nearest coffee shop, tap it again, and it'll tell other iReel users in the area that I'm going for a coffee, ask them if they want to join me. So I'm now sending a message out to other iReal users. I'm off for coffee. Come with me. So you'll have a whole community of futuristic wheelchairs going around talking to one another, communicating about one another, like a sort of Stephen Hawking Facebook. So there you are, the future of motoring, unless you're fat. <laughs> Then that means you can't have one. I'm sorry. But what, because I've got too much dignity? No, Fatty, you couldn't fit it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not interested. I'm not bothered about that because Honda has made an even better car, right? Here it is. Now, check that out. What? 
How does that work? Well, basically, these things, the silver things, kind of move up and down and operate your legs, so for going upstairs or, or even walking on level ground. Now, guess who this is aimed at? Well, I'm guessing people with disabilities with legs. I mean, that would be a very... No, that's a clever wrong. piece of technology. Wrong. It's aimed at the able-bodied. Well, why? It's the Rotherham robot. <laughs> you don't even have to walk to the chip shop anymore. Now you just <laughs> carry it on that. Well, what's the point in that? Well, hang on, no. How fast does it go? I don't know. Because I was at school in Rotherham and I could have done with that in cross-country. <laughs> <laughs> if you had one of those, mate, I'd love to have the remote control for it. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Blur. <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> James, not in the scissor factory, you'll hurt yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Can you kick yourself in the nuts? Yes, you find out. Many times. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <laughs> We're definitely going to get you one of those. <laughs> With Thank the remote you. control. Yeah. Now.